Welcome back to another auto culture vlog. I just got back home from Tokyo Auto Salon. I uh, had a very quick like 20, 30 minute nap. Allow the cameras to charge up a little bit and we're on the go again because there's no rest time when it's auto salon weekend. Um, I got invited to a secret underground car meet like last year as well, same organizers. And we're heading to this undisclosed location right now in Tokyo to go and check out the uh, basically the car meet and let's see how many cars are gonna gather. I heard from the event organizer that there's gonna be close to 80 cars there. Um, so it's gonna be a really eventful night, I think. Uh, let's just pick it up right off from that car meet. Here we go, cue the Tokyo Drift music. We're definitely in the right place now. Holy That's a lot of people, man. Where to even start? few familiar cars here let's just walk around in no particular order we got a Cobra here a Challenger a pair of Z's a Z31 and an old 240Z and then we got some Lambos really cool Murcielago and a completely modified Diablo that's just ridiculous I can still hear more and more cars arriving we got a De Tomaso Pantera as well so a few uh, special supercars in this corner. We've got a Pandem Rocket Bunny GTR. Super awesome. And we get into rows and rows of R34s. This is a GTT. We got a bunch of uh, RWB cars here again. R34s. RWBs. Mostly the cars that were there last night at the RWB meet, including the Spearman Rhino. Midnight Purple GTR, wow. And check this out. Pretty wild R34 as well. In yellow, two of them. this S13. I've seen this before at one of the other car meets. Completely chopped up front. Really cool looking um, Impreza here as well. Very nice, I really like this actually, I like the color quite a lot. And then a bunch of uh, stanced BMWs. I feel like these guys were here last year as well. Also quite a lot of uh, camera on this one. We've got a few more here, I believe E36s if I'm not wrong. I don't know my BMWs too well. And more and more guys rolling in, all foreigners. These are all definitely R34s waiting to be exported. We got a very sweet GR86 and an awesome FC3S. Then a bunch of old Mercedes. Let's check out this guy right here. These guys were here last year too. The full pan speed RX7. You can take a deeper look inside here. Very 
cool. And we got three NSXs here, a Stancy one, and then this guy here as well. And then another couple here. I think that's a, an NSXR as well, if I'm not wrong. This thing that's coming in right now. Holy shit. of RWVs now for me and then we have a uh, midnight car right here I saw a Daikoku a couple of days ago as well so this is a 997 and he's a member of the midnight club as you can tell by the stickers filling up nicely here with S13s We've got two three of them now I don't know which one I like the most difficult to tell. This looks like it just came out of the factory today. Seems like all the RWB guys are leaving.
Rocket Bunny GT86 as well. Let's take a closer look at it. The size of that front lip and the way it hangs down so low. I can't imagine this could be driven without air suspension. I'm pretty sure I saw it raised up earlier as well. That's the whole uh, silhouette team here. Super cool. Slightly different point of view of everyone leaving now. that was it it absolutely isn't the night continues now all the cars are heading out and we're gonna go to another place called Umi Hotaru I'm pretty sure you've seen it on a photo at some point we can catch some of the guys leaving now is he gonna scrape perfect Screw and Larry Chen in his GTR. exactly where we left off from.
pretty much all the same cars. I think this Mark X wasn't at the first location. I've seen him at Daikoku quite a few times and then everybody else here is the same from earlier. But let's just walk around and see what's happening. This Liberty Walk 360 is definitely new. It wasn't here earlier. I believe some uh, famous YouTuber bought it or something like that as far as I saw. Just look at that lineup. All nice R34s. And it seems like the police are here. The authorities have come to scope out what's happening. This is not the police. This is just like a highway patrol car um, that like checks out for like damage and stuff. But definitely there's gonna be some cops coming afterwards, that's for sure. And as I said, following the highway patrol, we've got undercover cops and they're starting to write people down. Not sure for what, I think probably for like illegal mods and stuff like that. I think there's going to be a lot of people that are going to start scattering now and going home and I think probably I will too. Scram, 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 scram. More and more police coming now. As I said, I think everybody will start running away now. Yep, they're pissed. They must be so pissed. Let's get out of here. いろいろありがとうございます。また今度よろしく。明日。明日。明日は出かける。また今度よろしくお願いします。いっぱい写真載せますので。はい。ありがとうございます。That was one of the most epic nights ever. Last year's secret car meet that happened that I also um, covered was much smaller in terms of less people came to watch. I think there may have been a few uh, less cars as well, but this year was absolutely mental. There were so many people and there were actually so many cars as well. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite car from tonight. Um, if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe and drop a like on this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. We continue with Tokyo Auto Salon coverage from the next video. See you there.